Hey Siri, give me directions to Pagosa Springs. Getting directions to Pagosa Springs. So many people live within unhappy circumstances and yet will not take the initiative to change their situation because they are conditioned to a life of security, conformity, and conservatism, all of which may appear to give one peace of mind, but in reality, nothing is more damaging to the adventurous spirit within a man than a secure future. The very basic core of a man's living spirit is his passion for adventure. The joy of life comes from our encounters within new experiences, and hence there is no greater joy than to have an endless changing horizon, for each day to have a new and different sun. I know absolutely nothing about this place or where anything is at, but I found an unattended hot spring. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna slip and die. I've never seen a natural hot spring, at least not to my knowledge. So I know nothing about them. It's coming out of this pipe though. I feel like that kind of kills the mood of what could be something awesome. A lot of people are over there. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk over to that one. Oop. I think that one will be a lot cooler. Someday we'll have our last conversation and drink our last cup of coffee. Someday we might be 80 and think about the different things we used to say. All the memories of you will just become a ghost of a smile. Caught in the wind. Someday, Someday. it'll be the last day. You guys want to see something really awesome? Check it out. I won't forget how it feels to be loved. 
They had some really Colorado sounding flavors like maple. This is a maple latte. It is really good. Colorado, like, <laughs> like as soon as I got in, I just felt like immediately like this is my kind of place. Colorado was the one that comes to mind when I think of all the things I love about nature. With the rivers and like the culture, the forest, the snow. I mean, I even hit like a huge snowstorm while I was heading up here. It was awesome. And then even just now, you can see like the trees and stuff. The hot springs, it's all just, I'm down for it. It's like coffee weather always. It's always coffee weather. It's actually hot. It's crazy. So. The water comes up for the spring there, they draw it down, it comes down here, and then it falls into these little pits. And then that's where you can like wade in it. I wonder if that, because that's hot water, so I wonder what that feels like. That's all mixed in here with the river, which is where most of the water goes. It's like mineral blue, it's crazy. I accidentally left the lights on in Bonita this whole time I've been gone, which has been at least two hours. No hesitation! So this whole time that I have been here, I, I didn't know what to expect. I've never been here before. All I've seen are pictures. I still kind of shooting in the dark. Um, one thing I do know for a fact though is it's a lot cooler than I was expecting. That would only make the hot springs more refreshing, but I know nothing about this town. I don't know where I can go to change and unlike some of the van lifers around here that you see, I, I don't have really like I don't have a hotel. Um, being the Jeep is kind of small, so I don't I don't feel like getting in shorts right now and with the sun going down, it's it's just not really worth it. Um, so I'm gonna probably go play in the hot springs tomorrow. And by play I mean sit and relax. Before I end this video, I need to give a huge thank you to Carlos Alvarez and Brianna Woods for their one-time donation to help keep me and Bonita on the road. Carlos and Brianna, thank you so much for your donations. It really means a lot to me. I found out that there actually is not a um, DoorDash, at least not that I can see in this area. Um, I'm trying to figure out, I'm gonna have to find a way to make more fun soon if I can't get enough support for the channel. I'm going to need to find a job of some kind. I'm still looking around if anyone is in the Colorado area and they have any work that they'd be willing to pay me for, I'd really appreciate that. Um, as of right now, I'm going to stay on the road for as long as possible. I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep traveling, and I'm gonna continue to make this amazing content for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you again for your donations. It really means a lot. Before you guys leave this video, I just want to show you something real fast. Every single day, I wake up and do my best to try to create amazing content. And although I might not show it in the videos, it takes me roughly five hours to edit each one of those videos. And that's not even counting the time I spend filming. Now, like I said before, I try to make a video almost every single day. That means about 30 videos a month. After those videos go through AdSense and Google processing, I bring home roughly $100 a month. Now if we divide $100 from 30 videos, that means I make roughly $3.34 per video. For over 5 hours of work, I only bring home about $3. That's it. Even on one of my most viewed videos, How I Live in a Jeep Wrangler, that video has over 4,000 views and I only brought home about $9 from that. This is the exact reason why I have Patreon. These last couple of days, I've been working hard doing DoorDash just to try to get the funds so I can get to Colorado so I can create more amazing content for you guys. The more time I spend working is less time I'm able to focus on creating these amazing videos for you guys. And making videos is my true passion. For the price of a cup of coffee a month, you can be helping support my channel, 
so that I can focus more on making videos and bring this amazing content for you guys. And if you can't support my channel, that's perfectly fine. Like I said, I do this because I enjoy doing it. As always, thank you so much for watching this video and thank you to all my amazing Patreons for making this video possible. Today.